Hi, it's Nicole, and today I thought it would be fun to take a look at some of my shelves because I've recently taken over one of my boyfriend's shelves that he didn't need anymore so I can put my books on there because before they had been kind of lying around the house in piles and it's a lot neater this way and I feel like it's a little bit more organized. So in our house we have two sort of designated areas for the books and one of them is a small bookcase in the bedroom and then there's these shelves in the living room. I don't really do a lot in the way of organizing my shelves, but recently I've started putting them in a rough order of read and unread on different shelves, um, but that's mainly for my bedroom books, and in the living room they're pretty disorganized and don't really have any sort of categorization methods applied to them at all. But now I've mostly moved the books that I've already read that were on my bedroom shelves out to these shelves so they're not there crowding up the space anymore because I generally tend to read in the bedroom and just having mostly unread books on those shelves is easier for when I want to just grab something new. This is the only bookcase in the bedroom and it's where I keep most of my unread books, though not all of the books on this shelf are unread and it's not where all of my unread books are. The top shelf is mostly books that I've had for a while and most of them are unread, but not all of them are unread. So from the little prints onward are all read books. The books on the middle shelf have been acquired more recently and they are also probably the ones that I'm most excited about starting. I think about the bottom shelf as being mostly reference stuff, but it's really mostly non-fiction that I'm not that bothered about getting to, some of which I'm thinking about donating, and some of them are my boyfriend's books. As for the new shelf, since it's just one shelf, I do have to stack some of the books in front of each other and I've decided to stack some sideways because that way I can get more books in there, but you wouldn't believe what a huge difference that's made being able to put the, all of these books somewhere that's not piles on the floor. So now you should have a clearer idea of the kinds of books I'm reaching for when I talk about wanting to read more of the books that are already on my shelves. And I would be curious to know if you organize your shelves in any particular way and why as well. For me, I'm not really that fussed as long as they're not in piles getting in the way of where you're walking around the house and that kind of thing. But I know some people are super, super particular about their shelves and they make them look really, really beautiful and I just don't have time or care enough to do that for my own, but I really appreciate seeing them look really nice and pretty and be all organized and stuff, that's kind of cool to see. If you're curious about any of the books that you've seen on my shelves that are maybe in the red section and you want to know what I thought about them, or are in the unread section and you think I should really pick up the pace and get to them right away, then absolutely let me know that in the comments below. And of course let me know if you want a closer look at any of the other shelves that I didn't talk about. Um, there are quite a lot of graphic novels out here because um, this room is used as our illustration studio because we're both designers and illustrators. So there's a lot of inspiration on these shelves as well as um, other kinds of reference books. Uh, occasionally I will filter out red books from the bedroom into this room so there's just kind of a mishmash of everything on these shelves as well. Otherwise I hope this has been good for a bit of a bookshelf snoop and I'll see you again next time. Bye.